Today's project is to clean out the exhaust screens. This will be the first time we've done this on this unit. It's about two, actually it's about a third year with it. Have not done it yet. It runs great, but it is part of our maintenance plan. So get to work on it. On our Honda EU 3000 IS. You need to take this back plate off. I believe these are eight millimeters. They are. I've got this wrap on because we have our exhaust deflector over here. And it just prevents it from rattling because that mounts up in this direction. I think you've seen my short video where we have the generator in the back of the pickup truck. We have the deflector on it and it allows us to run the generator secure so nobody can steal it, but also run it in the back of the bed. The nice thing about a Honda is the exhaust is high on the unit. It actually blows in this direction. So to mount a deflector on it to shoot it right up over the bed of the truck and by the camper works out quite well. Oh, we got that off. I put tape on it. Not sure why, but probably just to protect the edges. Not a big deal. All right. I'm going to speed this up a little bit with some power tool. I'll grab the driver because in the long run it should make it quicker. Start out. It's not a big deal, but as you can see, took the stud. We'll have to fix that. Honda does a real nice job keeping things from rattling and squeaking, like this light foam they put in here around the perimeter. It's all quality. Okay. What's next? Making videos of this helps, obviously, on my YouTube channel. It also helps me on reassembly. Sometimes I forget what went where. And by having the video, I can just watch it back. So we obviously need to take this off. Looks like I may have to remove the handle. 
shouldn't be a big deal. That is something bigger than a 10. Let's go see what we got here. Okay, so these bolts are 12 millimeter. Okay, what do you need in here? Very clean too, I was surprised. I guess that's a little bit of Honda quality. I don't know if I have to take this out. If I do take it out, I've got to remove this panel, but I believe all I need to do is take off this neck, and that's going to require some smaller screws. Ooh, even smaller than that. And huh, we'll be right back. This little tray here is a just a stainless steel tray. Not sure what it was used for, but picked it up at a secondhand store. Um, I mainly picked it up, I think it was 50 cents, for practicing TIG welding, but it works pretty good as a tool holder also. Okay, so these screws are 8 millimeters. I don't know if you can see it, but the, uh, these, this screw, I can see the uh, Phillips head. This one's up inside, upside down. I got to grab it from the other side. So one up, one down. Now I should be able to use the wrench, the power on that one. Maybe. Let's see if it spins on the back. It did not. But on the other one, I'll have to use the, the wrench itself because it is trapped. Can't get that wrench in there. The ratchet in there, I don't think. Hmm, even this is a problem because of this bracket. Let's try. There we go. Little ratchet fits in there okay, I guess. The reason they had to go upside down on this one is because the pipe swings in that direction. Ah, one more. There's a third one in this direction. That one I may need the power on because of its angle with its angle. Go. 
Come on, let go. Kind of a clever little device here where they swing that angle. <laughs> That's what give it, gives it its updraft. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna need a little screwdriver to pull that out. Okay. All right, let's see what we need to get that out of there. Make this one work. Come on, you little bugger. Now I'm assuming that pops out of there. I don't know, assumptions are the mother of all fuck ups, but here's like it's a conical screen, kind of like it's in the Predator. Yep, it is. She is. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. You can actually see through it. You can pick that up on the camera, but definitely not like the Predator that was all plugged up. Now we're going to give this a quick brush and a blowdown and slide it right back in. That was good to see. Like I said, this is like three years. Tells you how much cleaner burning the uh, Honda is. And the Predator. Any of you guys out there that own a Predator generator know that this needs to be changed out and cleaned probably every six months. Or at least every few hundred hours of running. Because it plugs up bad. Alrighty. I like that. Pop that right back in there. Nice. I'm going to blow this out too. And I think what we're going to do is, you can see it in there. See the rust on the screws? I'm going to hit them with a wire brush. Hit them with some high heat paint. Sorry, not that bad. Just buff it up a little bit.
That should be fine. just some high heat barbecue paint one thing that's very important when you're working with bolts that get hot around exhaust manifolds or pipes never sees if you don't use this the thread and the nut part or the nut itself can seize up and you may have to cut them off you put never sees on guaranteed to break loose 20 years from now so, I always use that on bolts that get hot. That being said, as I drip it all over the place, just put a little on the thread. A little dab will do you. Don't get crazy with it. I'm from the plastics industry and working with hut injection molding machines, barrels, screws, and such. You don't put this on, you really created a big problem. Okay. Let's get this bad boy back together here. Snugged up. One thing they do on these is they put a Phillips head. A fine idea. Which I knew that I saw that on the side bolt. No big deal. Voices you hear in the background of my GMRS radios. We enjoy listening to to them and learning things, local things going on. Not sure what the torque is on these, but it's going to be in the low inch pounds. Yeah. 
and that's that. Clean it up a little bit here. Slide her back together again. That wasn't bad at all. I'll tell you one thing though, you drip that never see, that goes everywhere. It was like silver ink. But glad we have it. All right. Slide you back into place. Put you guys back on. Okay, the heat shield back on. Alrighty. <clears throat> now these bolts here, let me show you here in a minute you know what size that is. 10 millimeter maybe. That's it. And that's pretty tight. That one is too. But as you notice, when I was taking it apart, these studs came out. You see the red on that? That's Loctite. So what we're going to do is apply new Loctite, put both of these back in. So we're going to take this one off. This one came straight out. There we go. All right, let me go grab that Loctite. Okay, I'm going to put a little blue Loctite on.
For some reason that's not threading in over there. Threading in fine here. Alrighty, there's one. I'm gonna do this before we put it on. Do something wrong with these threads. Oh. Threads seem fine. That will do you. I'm taking out the others and doing them over. Okay, that does it. Ready. Get all these tools put away. We'll fire her up and make sure all is good. Yeah, I still need to put this on. Black tie wraps. Okay, she's done. Let's fire her up, make sure all's good. Fuel on, choke, eco throttle off. <laughs> eco throttle is on. Sorry, started up fine. Okay, we're not sure when she cut out, but this uh, GoPro Hero 10 overheats often, drives me crazy. Time for something new, I'm thinking. But where I was going is we fired her up, everything looks good. And this is the heat deflector I made up out of an old 
microwave frame or cover. All the fumes blow straight out. So that way when it's in the back of the pickup. Again, she overheated. That's okay. She's running fine. All we do now is we shut the fuel off. Nothing nice about it. Honda lets you shut the fuel off from the factory. Runs it all out of the fuel line. Also all the carburetor bowl, most important. And you never have a uh, bad fuel issue. This is my propane kit I put on. It's on one of my prior videos. And also, I plug my trickle charger in here to keep the battery up. So I'm going to shut that eco off and let this thing run up a little bit. Ready for storage as soon as she cools off. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.